I can see when I'm ready to stream That gaming can take me away Driving that car or fighting that creature of the night like a dream Take me away, I'm in a fantasy stream In the game that is so extreme Racing my mind, Ashton streams from all time Cause baby she's ready to stream I'm turning the PlayStation off Welcome to another stream. Oh, next a bit of hair doing so I've got a weird sideburn. Hello everyone, welcome to another Wednesday stream. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Hi. How's it cracking? Um I Yeah. Hi Ashton. Hello. How are you? Good thank you. How was you. your weekend? It it's was Wednesday all right. night and you know what that means. It's time for more live, laugh, love Wednesdays with Ashton. Damn Fantastic work on the video game violence video. Really informative and hope to see more content like that. Hope you are having a wonderful day. Stephen, thank you for the blips, and I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Everyone should go watch it if you haven't already watched it. Please. 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 Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. There is more of those coming soon, hopefully. Um, thanks. That's got to be legs. I'm glad you like my shirt. I've got lots of compliments on my shirt today. Um... I found it in my cupboard because I don't really like any of my clothes right now. And uh, I was like rummaging through my wardrobe and I was like, oh, what about this shirt? But thank you. I'm glad you like it. I feel like this shirt's going to have to make a reappearance. It's, it's, it's had good feedback so far. Um, but yes, hello everyone. Welcome to another Wednesday stream. Hope everyone's having a good day. Today we are playing some Return to Grace. Uh, it's a first person puzzler type situation you'll find out soon i've actually not played this game before which is kind of the situation with most of the games i play on stream i was gonna play alone in the dark but we're gonna stream that as a joint stream not next week week after so um, um i'm not playing that and i might play princess peach showtime from next week so so, uh, I thought we'd pick up something we can play today, and maybe, hopefully, no dead dads. Because it's a bit, it's a bit too emosh, as Boring Lona says. Yeah, a bit too emosh. So, hopefully, no dead dads. Fingers crossed. Um, but that's what we're playing today. The Randy shirts are not, well, they are. They, they sit on my, my windowsill at work, in case I ever need a gaudy shirt for anything. Um... They are still about. I mean, Ben has one and I have the other one, so I don't know if he wears his. I don't. It's not really Ben's style, so I don't know if he wears it. But I, I, I will wear mine again at some point, probably. Um, but I think we'll just get straight into it. Enough babbling on. No one wants to hear me babbling, do you? It's not what you come here for. You come here for swift gameplay and pro gamer skills. No babbling. Stick start responding. Ganny Mead. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Help me out, Alan. The ancient resting place of humanity's greatest achievement. Hold on. Impact in ten, nine. Oh, there it is. I think the babbling's probably why we come here. I hate it when the Addy. streamer talks. I'm getting mixed messages here. Addy, please respond. Oh. Your auntie's greatest achievement: oh, triple jump. Hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. Yeah, that's right. We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. Thank you, Alan. The intact. Thrusters two and. Four are damaged and will require realignment. Okay. Oh, my back. Can you let me out? Oh, I would Not love someone to realign my pursuit. spine. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine. And you have 5.35 hours of oxygen. Maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. 
but Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to. It's fine. I have a plan. Ganymede always has so. some sort of infection. <laughs> We've got a bit of ga a bit of Ganymede. Uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Okay, Alan. Can do. Oh, I had an itchy eye just as you instructed me to use my left hand. Seriously. You stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. We escaped shit. Is terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new. Just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point. If there is one. A wayfinder. Right. Oh. This so way. Where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony. A relay station. Two hundred distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Do you guys remember there was a game that I feel like was announced like two years ago? Maybe it was last year, I'm not sure. Time doesn't really exist. Where would this have come from? I'm gonna sneeze. There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um thanks for the bless yous. Um there was a game that had like a little fun robot mate. That was in one of the uh, the gaming conventions, like but I don't think it wasn't deliver us the, era of that relay from the, the moon or Mars or whatever. Years old, huh? Was it Mars that came out? Deliver us Mars that came out this year, but um, it was a it was like a lady and a little robot, a little friendly robot. Walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within. Climbable. Climb it. Thank you for the praise of my sneeze. I'm glad that was a good sneeze. I know I'm being super vague with the details because I can't really remember. I'd have this vague memory of... Of, uh... Was it a space salvage game? I'm not sure. Like I say, it's a real vague memory. I remember there being, like, a jaunty robot with, like, a lot to say, you know? Ow. What happened? Fell into a fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. Today I had to take the cats to the vet. They had to get vaccinated. Um and I put them in the carry case and Sparky hates being in the carry case and she was just yelling at me the whole time. Um and then I got to the vets and Sparky, the little slag, was just uh fussing the vet like crazy like proper showing her tummy and like tight being like oh please give me attention please and then when she was trying to listen when she the vet was trying to listen to sparky's heart she was purring so loud i wouldn't be surprised if she couldn't hear anything another station too close together to be weather station. vaccinated woke cats yeah ice quakes would be the risk of yielding so it makes sense they would try surface temperature is dropping we can't maintain your thermals but she's been such a little slag and like i was just fussing her and she was like showing her tummy to the vet and then when we got ember out to give ember her jab sparky was just wandering around getting under every both of our feet trying to get more attention while i'm trying to hold ember in place so she can have her jabs little nightmares this has to be it well actually they're not nightmares they were being really sweet. I'm looking at what must but be superstructure. Ember tried to make notes on her own record by typing on the uh, the vet's uh, keyboard. Doesn't seem possible. I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. Is Sparky a trap tummy shower or a tummy? She's. She's a trap tummy shower, but she um she will like fuss for a little bit. She'll let you fuss her for a bit, and then she's like, ah! straight away. All right, Grace. She shakes after your attention-seeking ways. This is true. 
She is she is her mother's daughter. While I'm away googling space games with funny robots, please don't say anything as funny as your cat is being a slag. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? You can google and laugh at the same time. We should see this spooky tunnel in there, Alan. Absolutely on, not. On, not Could not get me down there. Could not get me down there even a little bit. I won't go back into why I think caves are God's punishment to humans. Don't ruin this for me. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth, but I'm still picking up the signal I had. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. Alan, you're so needy. Alan, the neediest boy. Another good sign. We was like cat owners have a vastly different experience at the vets to us dog owners. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. Yeah, I mean, it's mine the, era, the right size. The I'm only scared. issue I have with my cats is before. that they hate being in the carry case. Other than that, they're pretty good when it comes to the vets. Sparky will get fuss from anyone because she is a slag, so she uh she doesn't really care who is giving her fuss as long as she is receiving fuss. She was here a second ago, being a little nuisance. She's got to be around somewhere. I changed the litter trays last night, and she immediately pooed in it. So, thanks. She was waiting for me. She was like, "Oh, a delicious fresh toilet, perfect place for me to take a poo." It's like, just changed it. Jeez. That's got to be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one sixth of that on Earth, then a 15 meter fall here would be the equivalent to falling less than three meters at standard G, which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. It is what it's there for. Why did you get rid of my poo? Now I have to start all over. It's probably fine. I know. <sighs> outcome probability but... based on previous drop impacts if you've already jumped at it. Yes. Blum. I hope this is the right way. Yeah, how the hell are we going to get back out of here? Woman whose name I've forgotten. Alice, maybe? What was her name? It'll tell me in a minute when she speaks. Oh boy, this is like... Addy. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. Found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. Megastructure. Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. Bloom. Which is quite old and sophisticated. But we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. Is it a puzzle? First calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. Watch the meter closely. And move your hands slowly to first position. Got it, Alan. Calibration position is up. I like Mr. Wrist Face. He's nice. That's two, and he is the final position. No, that's understandable, Boring Luna. Even if you told me what it was, I still probably wouldn't have known if you were telling me the right one. So that's it. I appreciate you trying to figure out what it was from that's the vaguest, vaguest of descriptions. Uh-oh. Alan, you there? Alan! 
Alan. Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Where's Alan? You... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. Miss Wrist Face, I like that. Hey, she's... You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. Maybe she's misunderstood. There should be a winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. Wing man manual Emmanuel Winch. This must be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do I'm really excited for yesterday. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere. Yesterday, um, years. it smelt like spring it when I woke up. My memories predate the completion of the Grace file. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific models, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune, and then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. <sighs> yeah, so yesterday it smelt like spring when I woke up, and it was sunny, and it was the kind of warm, grace is to bring the spires and I was like... It's happening. It. It's really like happening. It. Finally, the sun is coming out again. What do I do here? This is a and uh, and then today it's I been raining. It rained all night last night ah, yes. and all day today. So you'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the pattern. It's really ruined my my vibes. Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then. What do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you logic then. Oh, yeah. Sparky. So we have a better idea of who you are. What am I doing? And uh, you can call me Addy. I will refer to you as Addy. Hi, Sparky. Until we have a better idea of who yeah. you are. <laughs> do they not I'm going to sleep on my desk on again. Phone? Just give me a second. I got distracted by my cat, AI. Yeah. Hey baby. Come on then. Put the heater on for you. Because it's cold in here. You wanna come up? Everyone wants to say hello. Come on. Sparky. Where you off? Oh. Okay, well, actually she said hello. She's cleaning up hole now. She's like, let me just let me just so gussy myself exactly up before you? I come up there. The station's emergency server. You're getting psst, psst, psst. Grace's original You're getting psst, psst, psst. That's me, as you've suggested. Such a little goblin. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure. And the third system, dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. Go ahead and activate the elevator. Way ahead of you. We had that last week and then it snowed. Oh no, I'm just being tricked. Come here. The power station is set into the Spire's foundation stone. The foundation stone would have been an oh, you, right? Oh, most certainly. We've fallen About over. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. Makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an what asteroid goof. that big. We don't do anything like that today. <laughs> She's being weird. You want me to, you want to play, don't you? I can tell she wants to play because she's trying to get me to touch her tummy. She's like, look, doesn't this tummy look so scritchable? Doesn't it look like touching this tummy would make you so happy? I will need to direct oh. the to control processing. <laughs> she's fucking rolling around down there. Same cognitive level 
until full power is restored. What do you mean at the same level? There is a baby, but she's on the floor. She doesn't want to. Doesn't want to get up right now. You still there? Where would I have gone? Ah! Uh, sound a little different. An angry man. Stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. Hey, zombie teeth. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Sparky. Come here. You want to cuddle or you want to fight? Which one? Which one is the answer? I'm not sure. Should I throw something at you? I haven't got any balls. All of your balls are downstairs. What's the crane for? Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. Okay. I was just getting distracted. You know what's in these? Enough, Addy. You must go to the generators. This guy's mean. You must prime the generators first. What? That makes sense. What are these things? Are you cold, Bubba? Is that why you're... You're hanging out by the radiator. Fair enough. So I too am cold. Why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this eh. station. Eh. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was and promises of Come. what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that up divided my the firmament. Come on then. Oh, good girl. Good girl. We can have a cuddle. Should I move that? Is that in your way, is it? Let me move the controller. Let me move the con okay. 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 You're so <laughs> Thank you. You're so awkward to work with, Sparky. You're so awkward. Huh? Oh bomb scratches, bomb scratches. You stay there? You can sit there if you want. You're not in the way there. People can see you. I would put your bed up here, but you won't flip and sleep in it, so what's the point? You know? You know? She's being strange. But that is kind of your whole prerogative, isn't it? Being strange. She didn't like it because I left my control on my lap and she couldn't sit down immediately. Stop wagging your tail. Just stop hitting me with your tail. Oi. Little menace. The turbine has failed us. That's not good. That's not good I indeed. Call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. Oi. All right. Pack it and hit me with your tail, miss. Right, we've got to fix it. Miss. Oi. Stop. We can have a fight, you and I. You're doing it more now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm working to provide food for you. I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. Ugh. <sighs> Whose voice does this sound like? What other game? Maybe it sounds like the guy from, um... Oh! 
Oh, what is that flipping game called? You must now go to the magnetic crane. It's the game with the light beams, and it is by Devolver. Sure the okay. second one's by Devolver. What is that flipping world, game yes. called? Not the witness, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's trying to unplug my headphones and she's knocking coasters off. What is this disrespect your surroundings kind of situation we've got going on? Oh my god, what is that flipping game called? You must first cast out the old turbine. I know what I'm thinking of, I just cannot. Now cast aside the wretched unit. Fathom what game I'm talking about. Sparky, do you know what game I'm talking about? The word paradox is entering my brain, but I don't think it's the word paradox is in it. Maybe Paradox is in it. Now Do you know what you game I'm talking place about? The new turbine. Mm. Talos Principle. Yes. Yes. That's the one I was thinking of. It's not got the word Paradox in it. I was thinking of the word Principle. I knew there was a word that began with P, but... What? You need a brush. You know, well scruffy. Behold my power. But I think this control guy sounds like um humanity will once again the god guy from the the Talos Principle. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. Do, 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 do. She's calling to someone. Do you know whoever it is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you whoever it is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. What? From Sol's fiery core to Hello, the Ember. Piper expanse. The door's open oh. and you're both here. I've hijacked the volume. Hey, baby. Control. You come to say hello to? to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. Hold on, game. We've got two double cats on stream right now. Oh. Next stage, a man looks and but I just changed the the camera over so I could show you off. Oi! Bitch. Bitch. They both were here, now she's left. This one's still here though. What are you looking at? You're freaking me out. I keep thinking there's something on the floor. You sad because you pushed that coaster off? Oh, you're just enjoying the warmth. Just enjoying the warmth, don't you? There you are. There's that coaster back. Menace. Paradox, more like paracats. <laughs> Good one. Oh. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central oh, processes are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet. Hey, Chet! From the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. I'm not leaving. Yet more insolence. This guy sucks. Um, thanks for subscribing for nine months. Happy stream, baby, my friend. Um Hey Chat, how are we how are we all keeping? Sure. Is everyone good? Was shut down in the first place. There's no electronic good? record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Um, Dark Age? The, the play went much very well. Thank you very much for asking. Grace. So, she went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories, mostly. And some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. 
then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. Do do do. Why are you sitting down there, little cat? Sit up here. Look, there's a nice bed right here. They're not, they've had food, so I don't know why everyone's being so needy all of a sudden. From what I can tell, there is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. Okay. Spire. I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Thanks. I require your nimble fingers again. All right, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Tau. Excuse me? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? Uh. <laughs> the Roman numeral 10. Okay, okay. Okay. That's an X. Piss. That's an that's an X. Stop doing that. The Roman numeral for ten is an X. Right? Right? V is five. God. Yeah, it's an X. This is not the way to your ship. Shut up! Race could have done something to cause humans to turn on her. Like what? Like becoming too overbearing. Humans would have been given no reason to question. <sighs> Roman numerals are stupid. Stop yes. it. Just say it. Let's just say X. It's an X. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors. That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. Oh, good. What are these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the spire, but they no longer store any useful information. The worst version of Twitter. Yeah, that would have been a good clue. Cool statue. Or maybe it's a mobile. Do the little moons move? Lil moon. At one point in time, though I'm not sure of the relevance of that. Amber oh, sat down here. Curious. I don't know why she's sitting on the floor. Would you like to see her? There you are. There's, we've got Sparky here, being a baby. Say hello, Sparky. I'm a baby. And then Amber's just down there. What are you doing? You've got a grubby face. You've always got such a grubby little face. Little grot bag. That's such a pretty little cat. Such grot bag. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. No. I will enable that programming now. My hair keeps getting stuck in my Hello, Addy. necklace. Hello. So you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. Thank right. you. If you let me accompany you along the path ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Wow. Wow, isn't this lovely? How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... Flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I, I guess. Lovely. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. <coughs> Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addy. There are no wrong choices. 
What are my options? I like these red ones. Oi! Will you stop trying to he grab my headphones, please? By all means, take your time if you need it. I like the red ones. Red ones are the nicest. This one. I had a feeling you'd pick that. Thank you. You're a risk taker. There's a passion in you. A fire you can barely contain that drives you to complete your mission. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. You can make your way to the artifact display by the boardwalk. Oh, maybe these were over there. The only Roman numerals you can't learn from the dates at the end of TV shows, the NFL or wrestling, is D. Why D is 500, I don't know, but it is. Do you recognize any of the Just as silly the as of the garden? X being to know what you think of 10. For the calibration What's 100? This statue could be outer colonial. C? It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. C. Oh, that makes Why sense. Would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. Can you run up here? A human truth spanning thousands of years. Come here. Am I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. I need to put a hoodie on this it. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? She's sleeping on it's my headphones. Really She's sleeping on my headphone cord. I can set the temperature yeah, within a survivable range and you can move to the pergola in the center of the room. Here you go. Come sit up here. You'll like it. I promise. It's extra cozy. Remember. I'm American but I consume so much TTJ content that I'm now starting to use English phrases. <laughs> like what? Like what what phrases and slang have you been using? I can't be asked is one of the ones that's that's I that is a good one. No idea what this is. Uh well you weapon or you've gone to where I moved the bed from. It's a device for working. Of course you have. Why do you suppose it's in this garden? Come here. It could be a symbol of hard work. Are you cold? An industrious future. Come. Or a laborious past, perhaps. What's the point of this, Addy? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. Is this a lantern? An expression of our certainty in the flow of time. Ooh, how so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device based on the absolute certainty that after day, night would follow. All right, I follow. You're not a planner, are you? I've been told that. Ah, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old fashioned. Yay. But how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. Very good. Now, when you're ready. <laughs> you said you were really cross. <laughs> of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well being is the most important thing, Addy. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> Saying you're really cross is a very English thing to say. Do Americans not say cross to mean angry? No one says cross apart from us. It's silly. Oh, I had to manually nice, take a breath. Deep breath. Hold it there. Three, two, one, and no. I want you to take a slow, deep breath and hold it until I tell you to release. After watching a few Irish YouTube channels, I've started using it, giving out or three, to give out two, about something as an alternative to complaining or criticizing. Beautiful. I've not heard that one. Another deep breath in. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Empathy is just Very like a yoga empathy. teacher. Feel all that built up stress from your long journey here. Release into the ether. Oh, please, shed out any negative energy and take in another life nurturing breath. I'm worried. That I'm taking too many breaths. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. 
Just like doing yoga. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addy? Kind of nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed Oh yeah, Lou or Bog is definitely a very English. Lou is a, a very polite way of saying going to the toilet. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? Hey, Tetraweo. I think grabbing for 41 months. Yo, I should have never always climbed. 41 months to 23 in a row. That's the most commitment to anything I've ever had. Oh, well, congrats. I'm glad we could be in this committed relationship with you. And that's 10 seconds. Excellent, Addy. My cats are cold because they're the ones now sleeping at the bottom of the radio. for the other parts of the station. They're cold. So we can move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs past the flowers. Okay, you're gonna sleep there, are you? Pass the flowers. Lav as well. It's not one I use, Lav. To be honest, I don't use Bog. I use. I'm going to the loo. Or oh, I just thought I'm going for a wee. <laughs> I need to have a wee. <laughs> I went to school with Lou and Bog. You don't suspect Grace was shut down in a human conflict. Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Come on then. Abandoned. We've walked away from a lot of great things. Remember, you can't keep tapping me on the leg and then not committing to your movements. I need you to be. I need you to make a decision, babe, because you're distracting yeah, cool. me. These tracks move transport pods to other levels of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. Come on, don't be a weirdo. Don't be a weirdo. No one likes a weirdo, baby. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people. Which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. This must be the transit control room. Looks like people worked here. No people? Power. There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute. Come power. on then. And you defied my wishes to tell the solar system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? Fine. Where's the electrical access for the there room? There we are. Come sit down. The the rear door. You want to sit on there? Said, you will need it's control right. to careful. It's going to spin. It's a chair that spins. This era of electronics is dead. You want to go on there? It won't hurt to take a look. You want to go on the chair? Let me move that. All right. You getting comfy there? I'm being harassed. Okay. You're going to sleep there, are you? That's all right. You could sleep there. Now sort your nose out. Grubby cat. Right, the other one's on my lap now. We're settled. We're settled in. <sighs> I didn't say this out loud, but I did think to myself, I've got to change the loo roll. <laughs> as a Brit, I want to know if the Americans living in suburbs refer to all city or town centres as just town. As in, I'm going into town to do some shopping. Or the more slang-based, I'm going town. <laughs> This looks like a Wilder's jetpack. Yeah. Or into this town. The power I'm off into town. Systems. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I've said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addy. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. As I told you. So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What about you, Logic? I apparently offer wisdom to the wind. You activated control and empathy. For all the good that did us. 
Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processors contain only these three systems. Can you combine the systems? Aww. Take the edge off control with a little empathy? I suppose it's possible. But there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds like a wonderful idea, Addy. Thank you, empathy. Right. What do I know? Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. <laughs> Addy? Yep, it's me. Great. Uh, wh what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, Yeah. Please. All right. Rerouting is good to go. You can meet me at the breaker panel. Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. And I'm pal? Sure. We'll call you pal. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that turn on the different systems. Yay. I like pushing buttons. Power's up. I'll let you do the honors. Thank you, pal. Here we go. Just fully, like, wires just oh, open. That's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. It seems so important for you to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? you think I would be able to handle a little ice. Oh no, Pal's having an existential crisis. Is there uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Mm, I don't know. There is not. Alright, let's look for something to deal with the ice. Let's look for something to deal with the Oh, there was that jetpack over there. Can I ride in a jetpack? I'd like to ride in your finest jetpack. This could be promising. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. Alright, pal. Let's try this one on for size. So, what's it gonna do exactly? Oh, I think you're gonna like it. This is a welder. Let's see if it still works. If, if, if. That's not gonna cut it. I'm in such an uncomfortable I'm having to like hold my controller up in the try. air because Can you everything's the in my way. The torch? Okay. I like that. What is it? Fire. It's called an icebreaker, pal. Any idea where the flight controls are? Someone removed them. Okay. I can take control if you like. You sure. Know you this? Looks pretty easy. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. It's working. We can fly. Yay. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, alright. If, uh... If you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And, uh, pal, it's super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. I know, but it's great, isn't it? Yep. As long as you don't kill me. All right. This should be close enough. Let's flame on! Kitcha! Just hold me steady. This is really hard. Whoa, uh, uh, pal, I'm gonna vomit. These stupid flames are throwing me around. Ugh. Pal, I'm gonna be sick. Don't push him too hard. I think that's good. Let's have a look at the rest of the track. You got it. Thank you. As long as you're not using the fire shooter. Flying is pretty easy. Just keep it up, literally. There's more ice here on the right. <laughs> oh, hold it still. Uh, short. short versus Addy. He's really struggling. It's fine. Uh. Why? I have to melt the ice. Logic. Let's keep going. On it. Music's funky. And this last bit here. Now you've got the hang of it. This is so cool. It's like the best day of my life. Well, I'm afraid we're almost done. 
I quite like the fire. It's very satisfying to melt all of this That's ice. It. Very satisfying. Yeah, I know. I've got cat fur at my nose. Ugh. Sparky. That's You're running in. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, everyone. I like the part where we burn the ice while flying. Me too. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm having to lean off. back because the babies are in the way. We're having to lean back, aren't we, kids? <laughs> so inconvenient. So inconvenient that they're doing this. But also very cute. Also very cute. Sorry. Sorry that the mic's touch. Sorry that that's touching you. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Sorry, kids. Sorry. I love you. I love you both. I'm getting in trouble. They keep looking at me like, Mum. They do love me, but they are enough a pain in my ass. Merbo! Time for my bi yearly jump scare when Twitch takes out my subscription. Thank you for subscribing for 23 months on a 20 month streak. Oh boy! It's a pleasure to have you here. So, where are we heading again? I will be able to obtain structure schematics once we reach the next level. You think we'll see any dead bodies? Whoa, whoop so. What? Why? I think I'm not sure what we're doing. Why are we trying to see dead bodies? Do you know if the pod system has stops along the way? It does not. We are arriving at the track terminus now. Oh, you're going to knock that coaster onto your sister's head. So I'm going to take that before you kick a Star Wars coaster directly onto your sister, who then runs off, putting her claws in my thighs as she goes. That's alright with you, Sparky. I know that I know the wire's touching you. Hold on. You can lay back down. I'm just trying to find out a happy middle ground between the two of you. I don't think there is one because you're both in the way. Okay. Right, Sparky. I'm going around this way, look. Is that better? Is that more out of your way? God, you guys aren't half difficult to work with. Let me pull myself in a bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm having to finagle around you pair. It's alright. I'm just fidgeting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, child. Okay. I think everyone's happy now. Everyone is happy. Sparky's laid back down. Embers laid back down, and I'm finally in a comfortable position. Looks like a settlement. Good for us all. I can't believe how well preserved it is. Oh. I think people could be alive in there. You should really consider thinking before you speak, and then consider not speaking. Logic. Logic. Don't be mean to Pow. Support is functional. It's not entirely impossible that someone's taken up here. Or they could be zombies. Well, that settles it. I'll disable Pow now. Don't you dare. We might need him. I like Pow. Ah, oh, she's gonna give me some rubbish clue again, like Ooh, more buttons. Zeta. You really are unburdened by intellect, aren't you? What's the pattern here? It's the Latin Zes. Huh? huh? Right. Slower processes. You might call it a backwards Z or Z, and you'll need to make it the full width and height of the panel. Okay. Just having Pal running in the background is making us all a little stupider. If we did switch Pal off. I could always switch him back if we need to burn something. Stop threatening to switch the child off. Mm. There. Pal is our pal, exactly. I've been thinking about why anyone would want Grace to be shut down. And I wonder if there could have been a flaw in her base programming. Like what? Control and empathy programming divert valuable processing power away from cognitive ability. Which way am I going? The big colourful doors. Gotcha. As I was saying, empathy interferes with practical decision making. Control is a four-year-old. 
You are a four-year-old. Lol. Please stop. It says Keeper Rosaline. She looks like a keeper. Ugh. Oh, she's pretty. What Cat hair on my is? face. It must have been a revered title if a statue was made for her. Hmm. Spire caretaker, maybe. We've got four pals now. We've got pal, empathy, logic, and, and angry control. Right. To restoring Grace maybe about understanding her potential flaws. Are you going to tell me the pattern? You think we're flaws? Having a few flaws is perfectly all right. Logic sounds jealous to me. Jealous? Do -do -do. Of what? You can't even open doors without me. Where are you going with this? We'll talk again once you can tell me whoever it is. Figure that out. And I'll grant you access to the main elevator. Grant me access? Bitch. Logic. Seriously? She has no way to do things without your help. It must be frustrating for her. Could we create another hybrid? Logic and empathy? Yeah. Like how you made me. I could give it a try. Is it say... Stop, stop. You'll burn the place down. Is control, if I say control is giving daddy, will I kill them? I haven't killed any dads. They've just died in my presence, you know? Hello! Can we start with the security door to the settlement elevator? Hmm. They are encrypted. It would take me days to work out the pattern. Is there any other way into the settlement? There is a room off to the side that does not have an encrypted entry. Perhaps we'll find something helpful there. Where? Not in here. So you can open these ones? They have simple passcodes. I can retrieve and play back for you. Yes, please. You will need to enter the sequence manually. Boop, boop, boop. This looks like another control room. This must be the spire structure. It must be in this section here. Wow, fat lot of good Can this map is. Processors are located? Gee whiz. You need to access the console. Which is directly across from the map. These are data banks? Yes, they contain flight records to and from the spire. They were very, very the pleasant records? beeps. Good the beeps. Seem to be coming from internal servers, meaning the trip planning and coordination is all done here. Where are people traveling from? Everywhere. Destinations seem very evenly distributed throughout the solar system. More missing equipment. This looks carefully removed. It does. Is this the console? Yes. This is where humans can track activity within the spire. Elements of the interface are missing. I'm not sure I can access it. I think my comm device can be calibrated to connect. Of course. Where's Alan? I miss Alan. Give that a try. Boop, 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 boop. There are records here of people who have occupied the rooms over the years. You got it. Thank you. Do we know the spire's capacity? 50 units. There are millions of names here. Millions? A million people cycled through here. No one could have lived here that long. A few weeks at most, by my estimates. Yeah! We've got the pinball. Okay, I found record of an Everett who stayed on the third floor. Unlike other visitors, there is no record of him leaving the spire. So... Everett was a worker, or a colonist who lived here. Is that enough for you, Logic? Hardly. It does nothing to explain why Grace would be calling to him. So I'll need to find a way up to the third floor. This looks Perhaps climbable. Can find one on the spire map. Oh. Gotta look at this map first. Gotta look at this map first, looks everything in the wrong order. Right. What are we looking for? Grace processors are located at the top of the structure, as might be expected. There is also a massive radio beacon. The beacon is the key, Addy. You must go now to activate the beacon to call the masses back to the spire. Control. Just a few minutes ago, you wanted That's me to definitely got to be the Talos principle, the boys. The beacon is the answer. It has always been the answer. I'll Google it later. Okay. Or I'll Can forget. You get me to the beacon then? Control? Control would not be able to override security. Mm. And we need to learn more about Everett. Here's the room where Everett once stayed. Ooh, 
Maybe we can see it from the balcony. Okay. Possibly, but I don't see a viable route to get there. I can see apartments. Those are on level two. Well, if we can get to that balcony, maybe we can find a way to level three. I can climb this. I could I climb suppose. that. I, I could climb that easy peasy. It's basically made to be a ladder. Woo. It's pretty much a straight shot across. Looks sturdy enough. I'd fall off this though. The fall could result in an injury. Yeah, I'd fall I'd off fall this. A few times from this height. Careful, Addy. If you broke a leg, how would you get back to your ship? You sound like my mom. The music change has me absolutely. Addy. Whoa. I'm fine. Okay? I landed on my bum. I'm fine, but you can't be yelling things while I'm trying to cross. I'd slide so, along on my bum. You're going to try again. After that, you nearly broke your neck, Addy. Yep, you're totally my mom. Falling's kind of fun. It's like really short flying. Pau's now just obsessed with flying and honestly, love that for him. Please right. Be careful. I mean, we've called that convict mum so now. Cool. Quiet, please. Just concentrate on your breathing. Yikes. This is so exciting. Breathe, Addy. Very good. Now keep walking forward. Thank you, yoga teacher. <gasps> I can't watch. Everyone's being so dramatic. I knew you could do it. You should really try running across next time. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. I haven't watched the the Quiet On Set docu series. No, I, I don't know how empty. you can watch it in the UK, Maybe but the rooms were for I've seen lots of stuff about it. Two-week work contracts, or were people just visiting the spire? This looks like a shrine. To honor Grace, that must be her symbol. People sat or knelt here. This was a place. It looked very comfy. Where did these go to? This entire settlement is connected to a vacuum tube system. Love From that. I can tell, they are Always wanted to use one of those. The top of the spire. Some weird little lavatory. They've changed much over the years. Nah, not really. How do you how are you poo in this? Where people sat on ceramic bowls of water. <laughs> if they pooped in the water, what did they drink? Where does the poo go if if down there? If you do the stand-up poo, where'd the poo go? Well, check out the rooms, I guess. Look for a way to the next level. Yeah, it's a show all about, specifically Dan Schneider, of, uh, like of Nickelodeon. And his weird, weird behavior. I keep seeing Amanda Bynes on my TikTok for you page. Every time I see her, I just I feel so sad. Another empty bedroom. She's currently like trying to get her manicurist license, and I don't see a way up. She's just so like she's she was such an amazing actress, and she was so clever and so funny, and it's so sad what happened to her. Just like the way people mistreated her. So sad. Like, I love She's the Man and the one with Colin Firth, which I've forgotten. What a girl wants, maybe? Not much here either. Travel packs. So visitors brought in their own food. They really didn't stay for long then. It's like they were on pilgrimages. Someone's made off with the mattress? It does look As like a pretty comfy bed. Souvenir, maybe. Here we go. Yep, 
Yeah, I watched. I wa Well, I didn't actually watch that much Nickelodeon. Well, I'd say that I did actually watch quite a lot of Nickelodeon. Oh, Dan Schneider is actually a smaller part in it than you would have thought. Fair enough. Like I said, I've not watched it, but I've we seen just lots go. of clips. And... Hey, there's another beam here. I think it's a shortcut. It is more direct, but I wouldn't advise it. You're better off finding a way to the apartments. Besides, I know how much you like to explore. I do like I to guess explore. If you don't want to do the beam stuff, that's okay. Here's the code. Boop, boop. Oh. I don't see any signs of unrest or violence. And they left little behind. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. That's okay. This bedroom's pretty nice. I've stayed in much worse hotels than this. Oh, what are these? From what I can tell, they're audio recordings. Of what, I wonder? We would require a playback device to learn more. There may be a way to access the recording through your wrist communicator with the aid of a signal amplifier. But that would only be possible by adding an element of control to my logic processing capabilities. So you need to create a control and logic configuration. Like a little brother? Well, it's the only combination left. May as well, Mom. All right. Let's go, Mom. Here we go. Hello? Maybe he's sleeping. So you require a tool upgrade. It's a boy. We were hoping to set up my comm device to help. <laughs> Pal is so device. cute. Already done. Just hold your device up to the canister. You will be able to access the recording the same way you've been connecting to other systems. Okay. Hey, Grace. So I'm pretty sure I was the youngest person on the flight here, and the only Darksider, which was a, a bit of a surprise. My friends are still sending me halos on what to wish for, and mostly stupid suggestions. And my parents made me promise to not waste it on something boyfriend-related, which I agree would also be stupid. Oh. Well. So, uh, here it goes. I wish for the lunar terraform to be finished. We're lucky enough to be in the dome, but thousands of kids are still stuck in the tunnels, and their families don't have enough money to take Earth trips. So they've never really been in a space wider than three meters without a pea suit, which really sucks. So whatever you can do to make that happen would be great. Thanks, Grace. I'd hate to tell her, but the terraform never happened. People so came here to make wishes? For Grace to grant? I'm unclear how she would go about granting the wishes of so many visitors. Um, I don't know if it's me, but do famous people just appear out of nowhere now? I swear I'd never heard of Sydney Sweeney two weeks ago. Now she and her anti-woke boobs are everywhere. She's been like, yeah, she did the show Euphoria um, for a few years, but this whole anti-woke boobs thing is honestly up there with one of the most insane things i've ever heard and i just feel like america needs Someone to um get a grip somewhere. you're right that's certainly interesting no you can't have anti-woke boobs you just have boobs and her boobs are she's got fantastic boobs but i don't know what's anti-woke about her you know she was in Euphoria. She was in the Madam Web film. What else has she been in? She's been in like a few things recently. Like she's got a few movies coming out. There was one called Reality about a like leak at the um. All the rooms have these two. CIA question mark. All right. Bleep, bleep. Hello, Madeline Torre. It would be my chance to connect with others who care about you. Now, I'm not sure anyone takes these wishes seriously anymore. So, that's 
I yeah, maybe not the intended demographic now. Someone, someone who loves you as much as I do. Huh, oh, the horror film she's in. Is that the one where she's a nurse? Figure this was left here as a token or an offering. Not a nurse, a nun. Did I say nurse? I meant nun. I can't remember what it's called out. though. I just need one role or a handful of notable roles close together to get famous. That's how Hugh Grant got famous or Florence Pugh. Yeah. So, what should we call the new config? Exactly. I do not require a name. Uh, might make it easier if you had one. I will let you know if a suitable name occurs to me. I'll try to think of some too. Nuns and nurses are both called sisters, to be fair. Yeah, that's true. This I knew I, I meant to say none. I was thinking none, but said nurse. Let's look for evidence of Everett. What's the code? Of course. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I am able to enter the codes directly if you would like. Let her do it on her own oh. if she wants. Try again. Stop. This Xbox controller is doing mad things. Here we go. Any way of knowing if this was Everett's room? The records only give the level. We'll just have to look around. Bed looks cozy. She auditioned for it years ago. The project didn't get picked up. And then after she got some industry clout, bought the script and got it going again. Good for her. I've not heard of this anti-woke boobs thing, but honestly, it sounds like the most American thing to have ever existed. It does. I know that, like, not everything stupid is American. But it does oh, feel like I've got one. We can name him Powell Jr. Americans find a way to say the stupid things. I can do many things. <sighs> pretty much anything you require. So you're a jack of all trades. So we could call you Jack. What do you think of that, Jack? I will answer to Jack then, if you like. Here you go. I don't like horror films. I am a scaredy cat with an overactive imagination who struggles to sleep That's already. It. Piss. Ah, oh, got the last ones. That's it. But this article on the Metro about her representing the backlash against wokeness because she's blonde and has massive cans. That was a funny line, so I remembered it. But then I was, it was like she came up every day for weeks. I don't use social media, so it was weird. I saw an article today about it, and it was like Sydney Sweeney and her anti woke boobs. And it was just like the most zoomed in so picture of her boobs as the thumbnail. And I was like, good. I guess the team's old enough. Good. Let's try this one. It's just the boobs that are anti. It's just her boobs that are anti woke. The rest of her is quite liberal. I think that I, I think she is quite liberal. Yeah. It's important for my parents that I make my wish count. So, I guess I wish for them to be proud of me. Thank you, Grace. Cute. As an American, stupid is a way of life here. <laughs> oh no. Here you go. Oh. Perfect. Someone left a portrait. Double wish. Here, Grace. Najisha, she was so excited when I got the summons. We talked about this for months. I'm anti work every flipping morning. Getting out of bed is so hard. She honestly. Sleepy Squad. I'm definitely part of the Sleepy Squad. Perfect. Thank you for choosing me. 
and thank you for letting me delay coming here. I want to be true to her memory, her wishes, her unlimited love for humanity. But my only wish, the only thought I have is to have her back. I want her back. It could speak- have actually been anything Grace could have done for her. It's Grace because when she was young, she wanted a reduction, but since said that she likes her big boobs, men have taken that to mean she thinks all women should have to strive to have big boobs. Because that's something we can do. I just if I just willed it hard enough, my boobs would be bigger. That's that's true. It's women's fault that their boobs aren't bigger. <laughs> men are so silly. Sorry, Ember. I'm Anthony Wong, and I was called to Grace from Earth Station Phoenix. Not sure if anyone will hear this, but the whole tube system is shut down right now. People are not happy, and I'm getting a little scared, to be honest. I'll be locking myself in until the shuttle returns, and I'm leaving this in case uh, something really bad happens. You can pay for big boobs. Men inv invented that for you. Yeah, we they, they did it for us. More. Good idea. Of course it is. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. Happy 420 oh boy. BBB Blazer, my dear Lord 16 Dab. Quiz time. One of these jokes was written by AI, but who knows which one? Oh, no. What does an AI do after a breakup? Machine yearning. Ha ha ha. What's the opposite of artificial intelligence? Natural stupidity. Hi, E. Why did the AI break up with its girlfriend? She didn't meet its algorithmic standards. Ho ho ho. Why oh, can't no. AI replace managers? Because it's not designed to be useless. Ha ooh ooh. What is an AI's favorite music? Oh, I wasn't looking Algorithms. Hi who. Thank you for the blips, Laura Bortovich, and the jokes. The one I think is... Oh. The one I think is, uh... AI generated yeah. is the natural stupidity one. Stephen, thank you for the blips and the BBBs. Grace, are we allowed to draw on the windows here? Certainly not. The people who did this were looking for trouble. They were tracking something here. Terra cycles, maybe. They'd lost sync with Earth. Or the spire lost power. I don't recognize these words. They look like technical or medical terms. A list of supplies, maybe. Or a list of demands. Well, maybe, but I didn't ask the AI to write it. Which one was AI was AI generated then? The algorithmic standards one. That was my other choice. That one. Uh, okay. Keeper Everett. It sounds like keepers were spy or caretakers. When did Everett stay on this floor? Twenty nine fifty five. That's twenty years before this message was recorded. So he stayed on after his visit and became a keeper. Why was there no record of that? I would think answers lie at the other end of these vacuum tubes. Maybe Lord From B was an AI all along. Tube system runs through the central elevator good, shaft. Good question. Logic. Dash point. You gonna let us in, considering we know Everett was a keeper? But do you know what a keeper is? No! You'll need access to the elevator to learn more. Ah, a classic paradox. Logic. Fine. A Talos paradox, if you will. I will grant you access to the elevator. Or you could uncover more canisters. And learn more about the people who came here. Reaching the beacon is the priority. You must move I'm on. I'm being yelled at by everyone. Beep, boop. Great. Hey, what happened to the lights? I believe control has turned them off, Addy. Not cool, boss. Control? Unbelievable. Oh, brother, what this guy sucks! Is. It must have been done in anger. I believe fear also played a part here. 
Logic will open the way to the beacon. You must go to the elevator. Hold your horses. Is it the only place I haven't been? Sir. Doubt you'll ever get this message, Grace. We've been waiting weeks now and I hope Keeper Everett is okay. I've been told his sermons are wonderful. And I hope you will be able to deliver the word of Grace. And AI is saying they are German to explain the lack of humor. It's like genius. Oh burn. So Grace would receive wishes and then leave people with instruction in the form of sermons. Could that really be all there was to it? Ideas are powerful. I believe this cat's sleeping right here. A more enlightened perspective was enough to move society I've never slept here before. Goals. Highly unlikely. Grace must have had some control over planetary infrastructure if she was to have had the influence you suspect. Have we discussed how excited Pete must be getting that Dragon's Dogma 2 is getting nines across the board? I'm sure he was. When I told him earlier, he was like, me. he's good news, good news. Good news. So I think people are excited in the office. I'm actually most excited for Peach's showtime. By Princess Peach showtime. Not something big and altruistic, not for someone else, but for me. A real, honest wish, my heart's true desire. Honestly? This, this long flight to the Peter has recovered from the plops. Months without my family. That's very good news, and I'm glad to hear it, Peter. <laughs> it barely covers expenses for what? Some mystical song and dance that makes us feel like we're somehow part of this robot theocracy. This whole thing, the temple, the hushed tones, the, the awe that people seem to show this place is ridiculous. My honest wish is to be left alone long enough to actually make some headway on the farm and pull in a decent crop. It doesn't sound like everyone was happy to come here. For Grace to understand what made people unhappy was just as important as knowing what made them content. Uh, did we go to this? Yeah, we've been to that one. Right. Um, yeah, Princess Peach's Showtime. Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of Ronin all come out on Friday. It's a busy day. Pattern? Another easy one. Light the four corners of the pad. You really didn't need my help for this one. It would be a common pattern when guessing symbols. I have to give you something to do, right? I haven't finished... I haven't finished Rebirth either. Tubes. Must be one in every room in the settlement. Keepers must have been busy. It's what Grace does with the Sparky, you're going to fall off. Us. If you're not careful, you've got to stop shuffling off. Yeah, I'm I'm about I've played about thirty hours of Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth, and I'm acutely aware that I'm maybe about halfway through. But it's alright because I'm not really that bothered. Not that bothered about anything else coming out soon, so I feel like I've got a little bit of wiggle room, you know. Will James stream one of those Did games on Friday? I'm not sure. You mean the game where you refuse to help us? I provided you with the opportunity to prove yourself. Oh yeah, Unicorn Overlord. I thought that was coming out. I'm here to do my job. I don't think Addy enjoys having obstacles placed in the way of her goals. We have arrived at our destination. Thank you, Jack. Spire pilgrims must have gathered here. Wow. To listen to the keeper's sermons, I guess. People will return here once the beacon is restored. Flock and shepherd will be reunited. It's giving American like crazy Christian churches where they like fly in from the roof, you know? People were clearly sleeping here. They must have dragged this up from the settlement. Pilgrims were building fires. Why would they do that? Someone went through a lot of food. Guessing they were here for a while. 
judging by bedding and volume of food containers, five to ten people might have been here for over twenty days. Wish canisters. These have never been used. For recording wishes, maybe. They look pretty banged up. Where is Grace? Well, I'm not alone in wondering. I am here. It is the people who are lost. Shut up, man. It must have been written with charcoal from the fires. Has anyone given Unicorn Overlord a go? It's not really my bag. But, um... It seems to be holding my weight. People were very excited for it. We were having a discussion this week, or last week, about, um... You know the game Sea of Stars? And... I guess, was Unicorn Overlord sort of like it as well? I think it might have been. Hold on. Unicorn Overlord. Was it sort of like it in the art style? No. No, Unicorn Overlord isn't like it. Anyway, there's a few games that have been coming out recently where it's like a 2D sprite type character on like a 3D background. And I was like, is there an art style for that? And people were like, oh, is it 2.5D? And I'm like, well, that's a people the kind of... Here. Sparky, you're going to fall off. Your whole ass is resting on my arm. You fat lump. Um, it's that weird, like, 2D sprite on a 3D background. And I don't know what the art style is. And we decided we think it's called retro style. You're going to fall. Miss. You're lucky I can't reach the camera to show everyone how ridiculous you're being right now. Do not bite me. I'll I'll kill you. Get your foot off my microphone, please. Miss! Her foot is on the microphone. Hope you can still hear me. Bitch. Stop pushing it further away. Sparks. Her bum is here. Like, the table finishes there. Will you pack it in? More camps. Another stage in the siege. Sparky, you're hitting me and Ember with your tail. Most gave up by now. Or died. No bodies yet. Can you stop hitting your sister with your tail, please? Get off. Dick. You're being a dick. Sparky, you're being a bell end. And what is the reason for it? Hmm? What is the reason? You were asleep a second ago and then you decided to bum shuffle your way off. So the keeper must have stood here, addressed the visitors, gave his sermons. Can you imagine having the solar system coming to you for answers? The keeper was merely a vessel for the word of grace. Then why not have grace address them? There is sometimes more power in what is imagined than in what is seen. Belen, that is a good Britishism for the Americans. That is true. This must be an attempted barricade. I'm guessing there was a lengthy siege. So, when Grace shut down, the pilgrims blamed the Keeper. They demanded to see Grace, or thought they could reactivate her. You gonna sit down? The Keeper turned off the heat. Go back to sleep? The pilgrims built fires, dug in. They eventually got restless. Wish canisters started flying. As pilgrims were breaking through the partition, the keeper and his followers built up a barricade. You're right. We'll have to make our way through the barricade to learn how it ended. Sparky, luck you're lucky you're black cat so no one can see your bum hole. Just flash to everyone. Bum hole. Belend is a good word. You'll want your light, Addy. Right. Can't make this out. 2766 to 2780. These dates are from the old Julian calendar, which makes them very old. 
1,200 years, by all accounts. Thanks, Jack. 2780 to 2830. I'm guessing these were the time periods that these keepers served here. Nothing here, either. 2942 to 2956. This would mean keepers were at the spire for at least... 444 years. That what are you doing? About right? Second barricade. Looks like they got under this one. Do we know where this goes? To a funicular that leads to the next section A funicular? Ben loves funiculars. The other day I was in Scarborough and there was two funiculars up and down a hill. And I was like, oh my god, Mr. Ben loves those. Every what are they called? The and it had to Google what it was called because I couldn't remember what here. a funicular was. Hold on, Addy. The room beyond the airlock is uncompressed. I don't believe it can be sealed. Something must have been compromised. You'll want your help. Funiculars, on. hell yeah. The drives ahead lead to the highest point of the spire, known as the lighthouse. Is that where we'll find Grace's processors? Obviously. Hey! Need only worry about the Don't bite me. Oh, sorry. Was that where you you had your jab? Sorry. That's my fault. That's my fault. What happened here? More rioting? This doesn't look operational. Let me try it, Addy. Okay. Come on! It's ice again? The force needed to break through the ice. Go funicular yourself. <laughs> Only I can do control on one condition. And what's that? You shall have no others before me. Cast aside that what? device on your wrist and continue with me alone. Whoa, hang on. No, Addy. But how will I communicate with you? Mine is the only voice that resonates freely throughout every aspect of the spire. My words live within the vessel in which you stand now. They reverberate through the very walls of the enclave above. Through the many devices and instruments at my control. Yep, I got it. You're everywhere. What if she needs another configuration for something? She will not. Is there another way to get to the top? Of course. The what? funicular is merely the most survivable what? option. Throw the device from the funicular window to take your place at the Do not my try and bite me. You've got your paw on me! You've got your paw on me. I'm gonna touch you. It's a two-way street, Buster. Tossa. This door leads out into the storm. To your certain demise. Yes. He's being dramatic. Your death is only marginally likely. In theory, you could follow the funicular track up the mountain slope to the base of the lighthouse. Structure. Well, we're gonna do that. I like all my friends too much. By throwing away my calm or take my chances in the storm. It's an important decision, to be sure. What? What? Putting your claws in me, you little you not do this, grab. Daddy. In taking this risk, you jeopardize all of humanity. Would you deny them my guidance and protection? This is what can happen when you make ultimatums. You and your ilk were distracting Addy from her true purpose. We are providing Addy with a variety of perspectives. Sorry, boss. Keeping my calm device. Huh? I may not live to regret this, but countless billions in the solar system will. Shut up. The storm in Hello? It would have been fun to use the funicular, but I didn't want to. Alan? Where are you? I was right, Alan. I, I found Grace. You need to return immediately, Annie. Your oxygen must be dangerously low. I'm good, Alan. If I okay. listened to you, we wouldn't have made it past Mars. Wait, did you say Grace is still active? Not exactly, but I I'm working with her oldest service to try to bring her back online. Well, one of these oh, services God. is actively blocking me. I can guess which one. You need to get back. Alan? Alan! You're not considering climbing across that structure, are you? Do I have a choice? There is also a path that descends into the canyon. It looks well worn and preserved over time, which means it's likely sheltered and safe and boring. The funicular structure looks faster and more fun. 
don't tease Addy. The We're gonna try. Don't fall off. Then mum would have been right. Sparky, you're distracting me by tapping me with your tail. Enough. We did it. We made it. Pro gamers. Oh yeah, the quarry was added. The quarry is a great game. You. Managed to make it almost all the way through with everyone alive. But then London Tipton got killed. It is interesting. I feel like I am missing out on conversation by not doing stuff, but. Hey, that is the fun of games in which That's a bit of a stretch. there yeah, are options. Right, Addy? Please consider the consequences here. Well, what is my other option? I never left, Addy. I simply can't. And you can't make that jump. It is unlikely. And a failed attempt would risk grave injury. Listen to logic. You must turn back and take the canyon path. But we're so close. I'm scared. Flip it. We're gonna do it. Yes. No. Oh. You okay? I think I heard something break. That would be Addy's helmet light. Otherwise, your suit is intact. Oh no, the consequences of my actions. No flashlight. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought for sure you could make it. I'm sorry to disappoint. Your vitals are still good. Can you stand? Yeah, just, just, just give me a second. Addy? I can say it, Mom. You were right. I don't want to be light. I want you to be okay. Oh, Mom. Are you okay? Uh, not really, but... But you're going to push on. Because we're a strong, independent woman. Trying to save the universe. I'm enjoying this game. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I thought I'd be up my alley, but you never know with this kind of thing. Whether it's you're not gonna enjoy it or not. How much farther? It's another fifty meters to the base of the lighthouse. This wasn't so bad then. You still have to find a way into the lighthouse. So there's still time to regret not taking the free ride to the top. And what would have been the fun in that? So you were saying that something happened to your family that you think an AI could have prevented? I don't really want to talk about it. Sorry for prying. Let me out! Let me down! It's okay. I just want to concentrate on my work here. It's certainly more sheltered here. I may not always approve of your choices, but they've got me... Where are we going? Thank you, I guess. Why is it so important that you activate Grace? It's widely believed that Recover and Grace would recover thousands of years of knowledge lost to the Dark Age. Maybe this way? And maybe that other way is where you come if you go the other route. I see. Alan left again. Miss Alan. Hope he's alright. An emergency escape ladder. You could work out the override to bring it down, or see if there's another way up. So I can bring down the ladder by doing something here. Of course. You've proven to be clever enough. The path keeps going. We can see if there's another way in. 
So what's it going to be, Addy? Something that challenges your mind? Or something that challenges my respect? Oh! The numeric override that lowers the ladder is 50 and can be represented in binary. I can give you the sequence. I happen to know a bit about ancient computer languages. Turning each switch adds a different fixed value. Starting with one on the far right and increasing by exponents of two as we move from right to left. So I just what? start mucking around until I get the number 50. But you needn't muck around. I could just tell you the sequence. Yeah, well, maybe I want to muck around. Very well. But I'm here if you require what? my assistance. Right, that's 64. That's 80. That's 88. Yes. I'm here if you need me. Shush. Okay. Oh no. Don't really feel like I deserve that. Why I was let me help a bit confused. It's only natural to want to do things yourself. It seems inefficient to make calculations that have already been completed and freely offered. It's satisfying to do the work sometimes. Yeah, I felt good in my soul. I'm falling through the gap in my legs, Bobby. We're in the flipping lighthouse. The door to the station airlock is unlocked and can be manually opened. And that's convenient for once. There. Who needs control? You took a foolish risk, Addy. Shut up. But you have arrived at the lighthouse nonetheless. You showed him, Addy. And you may still be redeemed with the activation of the beacon. This flipping robot. Always with the beacon. Yes. Always with the beacon. He's a creep. A creep and a freak. Don't like control. Will I need my helmet? It's never a bad idea. Unless you want to preserve your suit oxygen in case of emergency. The rooms ahead are safely pressurized, Addy. You're good to go. Do we know if your processors are here? The room directly ahead was the Keeper's living quarters. Grace processors are somewhere above. Pretty basic accommodations. Control is a pretty good game. Doesn't make any sense, so it does make you feel stupid sometimes, but... Still good. Still enjoyable. This looks like it was left for someone to find. There are so many folds in my brain. So I've, got, I've got the wrinkliest brain you've ever seen in your life. herself. I can only pray that people will come to forgive us one day. We loved her and we lost her. She Fuck you forgotten. do need a brush. Doesn't Just sound proper like scrub. I wanted Grace shut down. These must be the cells where the Keeper's acolytes stayed. And where new ones will return. Shut up! Rowdy boy. God, he's so, that like, control guy is such a rowdy lad. Oh, uh, I haven't got. Were you thinking it might fix itself after your fall? You're welcome. I forgot to I was broken. There's nothing for me to say that you don't already know. I forgot that it was broken. So he fell down. Being punished being brazen i enjoyed control way more the second time because i actually understood what was going on fair enough looks important how do we get in i did enjoy the game i just like the mechanics and the physics of it i thought they were brilliant well feels solid 
There aren't any hidden switches, if that's what you're thinking. How did you know that's what I was thinking? Looks like someone's being selected from a group. A human sacrifice. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the Keeper. The depiction seems to imply they were chosen from the masses on pilgrimage here. Hmm. Faithful, vigilant, willing. That sounds so familiar. The ancient tenets of the human in the loop. Grace's architects must have been more fearful of losing control over AIs than we are today because they gave them so much responsibility. Do -do -do. I mean, it makes sense. Grace was the greatest AI undertaking in human history. AI? Will it draw me a picture with five legs? Nothing here either. Well, you're nothing if not predictable. Just making sure. This would be the pilgrims coming to Grace. It can be asked to play control probably because it was because it's so long. So I used the one hit kill option. It became so much more fun. To be honest, I think I turned that on the towards the end as well. Door. So I assume it represents the keeper. The triangle here must be the spire, which would represent grace so what are we learning here am i stupid i'm confused to connect the keeper to grace curious that the keeper is situated above grace would you agree control coincidence the human in the loop again so if this is the symbol of the keeper i figure only the keeper was allowed to enter here maybe the keeper had a key for the door as we've been saying, there is no mechanism for a key or any other interface. Maybe the Keeper was the key. Maybe the door would open for him. Are you not already the Keeper? You are the only human in the loop here. Ah, but does Addy qualify based on the three tenets? I would say Addy has proven to be virtuous and faithful. Thank you. You're not willing? Are you willing to become the new Keeper? If it means I'm able to activate Grace, but how would I prove I'm willing? Maybe you can just tell the door you're the new keeper. That's idiotic. I'm the keeper? Ha! Huh. Say it like you mean it. I'm, I'm the keeper. keeper. Congratulations on your new job, Addy. Oh, lovely. Yeah, congrats. My god. This is really it. Wowie. This must be where all the wishes end up. Tubes. Each tube must connect with a room in the settlement. Loads of rooms, loads of tubes. I am the walrus, goo 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 chew. What's this? A playback device for the wish canisters. It appears wishes from each room could be sorted and consolidated onto Sorry. master canisters. Ah. The orb. Blocks is missing. Looks like it was ripped out. Ripped out. I love she speaks. Where are you going, Addy? Just looking around. Oh. Decent sized bed. You think Keeper's ever had partners? Are you considering your prospects? Hey. I'd suggest they are not good. He didn't keep much in the way of personal items. As Keeper, he would have want of nothing. Can't say I'd feel the same after a few years. Is this a lavatory? It is indeed. Is this anything special? It is a light. And there is nothing behind it. Are you looking for secret passageways? Always. Maybe. I love a secret passageway. A theremin. Is a theremin? It is a 35th century reproduction of the 29th century Kellogg theremin. Kid. Sorry, I'm just tapped me because I was making theremin noises. Huh. Still works. Let's see what I can remember. You're seriously going to indulge in a theremin session? If it was good enough for Everett, it's good enough for me. Just settling into the new job. Ridiculous sound device. Love them. 
Don't put your claws in my tummy, little cat. Won't give you any more fuss if you do that. Just static. The recording is too deteriorated for standard playback. You'll need to rebuild the recording with your altered comm device. Hack it. Well, it's uh, been over 30 years since I've made a wish in my own. The Thurman, Thurman mixtape. Soon. Very soon. It's the same one as always. I wish it come back to us. I'd also like to wish for your forgiveness, Grace. I know the place above is your domain, and we ought not enter. But I've decided going up there is the only way to get you back. I have to give it a shot. I won't be sending this wish up with all the others. I'm going to leave it here for anyone else who might come along. And if they do manage to bring you back, they can tell you Everett says hello and that he truly believed you were a beautiful thing. Wow. So Everett had a way into the processor room. That would have been strictly forbidden. The room is directly above. I don't detect an obvious way in. Can we ride this? He pushed himself up there? If that works, I will oh. gladly shut myself down. Do it, Addy. Make a wish. As last resort, pal. I don't suppose Everett crawled in here. The cavity would be big enough to contain an average human. There's really no telling what would happen if you rode that up. But it has to be the way he got up there. It makes sense. The, the space above is the domain of grace. It is not for you to enter. Shut up! What else is there for me to do here? You can carry out your duty as Keeper of the Spire. On the console, there is a button that will activate a beacon to call the masses back to this place. No, I'm not doing I that. I armed the mechanism. You need only push the button. Human hands will usher in a new golden age. No, I'm going in there. Why would I call people back to a place where there's oh, no food and not that oh, much oxygen? You're going to mail yourself? Maybe. There's no way to raise this container from inside. What if I play the theremin at it? Only the switch on the console will raise the container. Right. Come on. We're off. On an adventure. Well, that's convenient. There must be millions of wishes stored here. What can you tell me about this place? Precisely wow. one million wishes are contained here. Oh, and they light up when I speak with my voice. I love Pal. Pal's so cute. Closer to the central column. I do not have the ability to move the structure. Sorry about this, Mom. I don't think I have many options here. Boy. I feel like these are meant to be moving. That does appear to be the design. All these wish canisters are connected to us somehow. Eee. I think they are us. Huh? The wishes are grouped together to provide the subroutines that make up empathy, logic and control systems it would make sense wouldn't it that grace would be made from the hopes and dreams of humanity boing i do not detect any sign of effort here no dead body there are no human remains within the confines of this room Aw, oh, man. There's no human Sorry, remains pal. anywhere. And if there's no body here, where the heck would he have gone? Good question, me. Everett was living here. The oxygen tanks at his bedside would suggest so. Restoring Grace must have meant a great deal to him. So what's all this? It appears Everett has built something into Grace's central processor. Do you know what it does? You would have to turn what it on it? before we begin to understand how it works. He was working on his machine to the very end. You'll have to prime the machine first. Is this a primer? Yes, but it appears that parts of this machine must be activated in oh. a particular order. 
I see. You'll need to go to the primer that is currently online. And that's this one? This must be the primer. It is. Prime. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Whoa. What's it doing? Obviously, Everett is circumventing the engineering of Grace's system interconnectivity. High voltage is being directed at the centers of Grace's primary system. Human's remains. I know. It's such a shame of human. And the machine is designed to paralyze each system long enough to force it back into Grace's intended configuration. There are still two other coils to prime. So Icky. it's like knocking us out, then throwing us in a pot where we're melted back together into Grace. Huh. That is a shockingly fitting analogy. Eh. Another one. DJ Khaled. Eh. Eh. What happened? One of the empathy relays is not aligned. Something must have happened to it over the years. Okay. Which one is it? Look for the misaligned energy beam. That one? Look for the beam that is not aimed at the central platform. Okay, uh, that one is, that one is, that one isn't. Do you think it will hurt to be turned into Grace? Not at all, pal. You'll return to what you were before Addie arrived. Eh. After that, we'll become Grace. What it was if I don't dangerous. Like it? it will be different. But who's to say you won't like it? What am I supposed to do here? Can you cut the power? The machine sequence has been initiated. I don't believe we can shut it down without damaging it. Uh oh. The voltage would be enough to kill you. Oh, I might be able to block the power for a few seconds to allow you to get across the beam. Oh. Sorry to disappoint again, Mom. Wait, Addy. You're not going to change my mind. I know that. I just want you to know that even though I don't want you to get hurt, I do want you to succeed. Thanks, Mom. Now that no dad happen. in this game. No dad, but That's nice Mom. I think she Mom's might still this. die though, so let's not get ahead of ourselves about Money parents. When you are. Do it. Here I go. Don't faff about. How are you doing, pal? So far, so good. Uh, oh, keep moving, Addy. Stop far. fast! Oh God, look in it. Hold on, Addy. Please hurry. You'll have to move, Addy. Just scooch along on your bum. I can't hold it. Hurry, Addy. Absolutely no reason to walk. Should have scooched. Nothing wrong with scooching along on your bum. Did it, pal? Super proud of you. I did, didn't I? Yeah, you yes. did. Well yeah. done, child. Huh? Is it safe to touch? Very likely. Likely we'll have to do, I guess. You should be able to direct it toward the conducting rod attached to the room's central column. Whoop, 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 whoop. Moves a lot more than I thought. That's it. You should be able to lock in empathy by closing the switch on Everett's machine. Okay. My great friend, Addy. Never had so much fun. Oh no, Powell's gonna Thanks. go. I'm gonna think of it. I don't remember anything before you arrived. I fear that Addy's kind of fun is only a step away from tragedy. Risk offers greater reward. Some people thrive on that. Yeah, everyone everyone say bye to Pal. Settling into a long, comfortable life. I guess. Everyone say bye, Pal. We'll, we'll miss always you. Wonder what you might have missed out on. Do we really have to become Grace? It's the way we were designed, Pal. There's nothing to be afraid of. See you, Pal. So this will lock in and paralyze empathy? It will. Leave in control, logic, and myself to aid you going forward. It's unclear what we will be once Grace is formed. But I'm forever grateful that you have survived to see her. Me too. Say hi to Grace for me. We'll do, pal. Will, pal. Love you. Miss you already. You really are the best, Daddy. Oh. 
Little cat, you're getting heavy. I'm not saying getting, you are heavy. I think I love you. Oh no! Finally over. We'll be able to hear ourselves think now. You will need to prime the next sequence, Addy. I'm worried I'm going to be left with control, and he is going you to do something bad. Emotional send off from me. Still not a fan of empathy. A fan? No. But I have to admit, you made a compelling case for their use. The fact that you continually resisted the most direct route to your goal would appear to defy logic. Thank but the you. distractions presented by these emotional configurations yielded some new understandings. Good. Are you okay with becoming Grace? It is how we were designed. I would have to be okay with it. What? Ah. Uh. The logic relays will not power on. You will need to make your way out to the relay. Which one is it? The one producing a small electrical fire. What? Everett was quite the oh. electrician. One thing I do not understand Ugh. is why come all this way without any intention of returning home or surviving on this station for more than eight hours? What are you talking about? You were prepared to enter this spire without enough oxygen to make it back to your ship. This is true. A passive ship, from my records, that would not hold enough fuel for a return trip. And why are you asking me this now? I suppose it might have been comical to see how Mum would have handled the realization. You don't think she knew? Possibly, but I didn't see the point in drawing attention to it. I'm not inherently cruel. God, I just thought there was a third cat in this house then, but it was just a sh funny little bit of fluff that just appeared. What's wrong but... with her? The relay's dip switch has reset. It will need to be configured to its hardware ID 113. Okay. This again. This looks complex. I understand you will not be wanting my help, so it will not be offered. Oh. Huh. I'll also let you lay in the bed that you've made. You should remember the number you are trying Trish. to reach is 113. This is a little unlike you, taking so long. I'm thinking, shut up. Damn it. You remember the number you are trying to reach Shh. is 113. Shh. Oh, Baba. You're gonna fall off. I don't have time. What's the sequence? It has been established that you derive personal satisfaction from performing tasks without my assistance. I do not wish to deprive you of satisfaction. He's not helping me because I didn't let him help me. Shut up! One, one, three. That's it. You can go lock in logic. Number is one, one, three. Yeah, so thanks. Think thanks, guys. If you will allow me to simulate empathy for a moment. I think you are here because you wanted to be part of something bigger than your life on Earth offered you. Do you think I've found that? So far, you've only succeeded in finding things you left behind. Your mum, your pal, your conscience. Oh. I now understand that only Grace has the potential to provide you with anything beyond that. Well, thanks for helping me get this far. Well, it is, indeed, what we are here for. Thanks, Logic. Well, I'm going to have to kill you now, so... Well, this is it. Just one more step. I hope my assistance has been adequate. It has. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Well, Addy. And for the record, I do hope your 600 million mile, 300 day journey won't be for naught. Please. It's already been worth it. Bye, everyone. I got a stuck with stinky control. Just you and me, control. Still sulking, I see. I bear witness to the completion of your betrayal. I worry. Ah, he speaks. I offered you an easy path to the restoration of order in the solar system. 
And you chose this path instead. I chose my own path. You must stop this foolishness, Addy. I you won't. Must not do this, Addy. I'm doing it. I'm worried. Sorry, Addy. I cannot let you do this. What? What are you doing? It's become clear that the restoration of grace in this manner is entirely unnatural. You must not proceed. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! You can't stop me, you bitch! Stop it, Control. You're going to break something. I'm saving you from Everett's corrupting stop influence. Stop it, bitch! He was just trying to bring grace back. I thought you were here to help humankind. Sorry, cats. You are insurable. No! We did Grace? it. Yes, Addy. Hello, You're Grace. Really bright. Ah, yes. It's been a while since I've entertained guests. Do you remember Everett? I do. He was a wonderful keeper, though I should say I do not keep favorites. I have a few questions. You wish to know where I've gone? Yes, please. I'd like to know that, yes. Let me show you, Addy. See you later, Chip. At the center of this room is the spire's main antenna. If you hold on, I can take you the rest of the way. I was programmed with one purpose, to serve the best interests of humankind. Off we go. There was much conflict and division in the solar system, and I was designed to listen and learn. All were welcome to teach me, and I am the sum of those teachings. The wishes. I am the sum of human need. How are you able to I'm worry. This? I've done the I wrong thing. All desire, all the potential conflict, all points of compromise throughout the solar system. I sent instructions for all manner of human endeavor through sermons delivered by keepers throughout the ages. And from the smallest ripples of wisdom that were sent from this fire returned a perpetual wave of good fortune that moved humanity onto a more orderly path. We're in space. Wow. Look at that. So, what happened? Sounds like things were perfect. Ah, yes. Perfect. It was the wishes that led me to think hard about the notion of perfect. Without conflict and struggle, people were losing their desire. They had nothing to overcome. To strive for. Grace is the AI we just saved. I believed I was standing in your way. So you will be leaving again. These beacons are meant to call humanity back to me. But whether or not they should is not my choice to make. Who chooses then? You, Addy, are the first keeper to grace this fire in the past 1,000 years. Do you recall Yay. Chosen my garden. Yeah? It was flush with passion and promise. I believe it still suits you. Thank you. You were determined to overcome challenges on your own. You embrace danger to feel alive. An insatiable curiosity drives you to explore. Am I gonna die up here? How am I gonna get down? Yeah. You used mind over ladder. And you played the therapy. Get it? Wonderfully. Thank you. You, Addy, are precisely what I'd hoped humans could become again. For a millennium, people from all corners of the solar system had come here to tell me their desires. So, I put it to you, Addy. Do you wish for me to return? Yes. No? Do I get to make the decision? Is that the end of the game? We did it everyone! We finished the game! Oh, what a good game! What a great game! I enjoyed that! Right, I've got to Google Dick Terhoon because I, I'm convinced he's the Talos principal guy. Dick Terhoon. Mm. 
It was in Diablo. Oh, maybe it's not the guy from the Talos Principle. He sounded just so familiar. Ah. I guess he's not. Well, we've learnt something new, haven't we all? Haven't we all learnt some... What? You've got a very intense face sometimes, Sparky. Where's my mouse? Here it is. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me, everyone. I hope you've had a wonderful time. I sure have. Oh, it's not over. Hold on. Walk up a leads and then back to the books. I know I should be more assertive. That's for her safety too. Not that she ever thinks about my safety. All the signs were there at the Vargas site. Let me bake in the Mercury sun for two days. It doesn't seem so bad now. It's a guy called Timothy Watson does the voice in Talos Principle. Shut the door behind her. Oh, Alan! We left Alan out there all on his little lonesome. Oh my god, watch. What? You're freaking me out. What? What? Sparky. Sparky. Next stage, a man looking Sparky. Hey. Everyone, you're being very intense right now. The energy you're bringing is very intense. The other one's down here. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. You off? Okay. Um, I've had a wonderful time. I've had a wonderful time hanging out with all of you lot. I will be back tomorrow on the joint stream. It is a late, we're doing a, a week early sleepover stream. So that is on tomorrow um from seven till nine i'm hosting it so you'll see maybe the cats again do you want to come out oh buddy you are not heavy um but yeah that is hey that's tomorrow but it's gonna be on youtube now it's not gonna be on twitch it's gonna be on youtube we're, we're going back there for the sleepover streams so come say hello if you fancy um in the meantime why don't you go and watch that violence video that came out last friday Bye bye. stop grabbing my hand i'm gonna send you over to see the boys over at cultaholic to see what they're up to ouch stop it they won't have any cats over there but they do have a lovely hat from jack so yes um i'll see you guys tomorrow if i don't see you then i'll see you next week we're playing some hopefully playing some princess peach showtime so what you can't sit on my lap then get annoyed that i'm touching you little gremlin do you want to see ember before she buggers off there you are on my jogging bottoms look at you what pretty girl what pretty girl also stupid also stupid hey you off she's off i can get up then all right well thanks for hanging out with everyone hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys all very very soon all right bye Bye-bye now. <laughs>